Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number nine from this May, June 2021 IGCSE Cambridge paper from this is paper four, variant one. Um, and this question here is again a question about surface area and volume, but this time we're talking about this prism and also a bit of trigonometry in this question as well angle between a line and a plane. So, first of all, it says uh, the diagram shows a prism A, B, C, D, E, F. It looks like it's a here, it's a triangular prism. It says AB equals 13 centimeters, BC equals so AC equals 20 centimeters, CF equals 24 centimeters, and ABC equals 90 degrees. Calculate the total surface area of this prism. Right, so one of the things we need to know when we to work out the total surface area is we need to know the length BC. All right, we need to have that length in this prism for us to be able to work out the length that will help us to find the area of this triangle and of course that will be the same as the triangle behind it and also to help us to find the area of this base so we need to know what bc is now bc is part of a right angle triangle okay we can use pythagoras theorem we can say bc is equal to the square root of because it's we know that pythagoras theorem is the, the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides gives you the square of the hypotenuse so we know it's going to be 20 squared minus 13 squared so the square root of 20 squared minus 13 squared will be the length BC so we have the square root of 20 squared minus 13 squared now that gives us a square root of 231 so I'm going to leave it like this because it's not it's not a final answer um, so I'm not rounding it. I'm leaving it as, as root root 231 centimeters that is the length BC now we need to find the total surface area of the prism now there's two ways we can do it we can think of well the f both ways involve finding the area of the the triangle here and there all right so you have two triangles so two times a half which cancel out anyway so it basically makes a rectangle together times the base times the height which is uh, times root 231 times 13. okay so they will cancel out so you end up with 13 times root root 231 plus now we have the area of the faces on the outside on the sides okay not the two bases the other other areas now to find the area of those we could do it in two ways we could think of these three rectangles this one that's slanted the one that's vertical the one that's horizontal and we can add each of these separate areas together or we can think of it as if we were to just open this up and flatten it out okay these three rectangles would form one huge rectangle okay say this is the back part that will be 13 then you have the base part that will be root 231 and then you have this part this the you know the slanted part which is actually longer goes on like this that would that would be the length 20. so those lengths added together times 24 will give you the area of this whole rectangle so we can basically take the perimeter of the uh, cross section the perimeter of this triangle and multiply it by 24 and it basically gives us this whole area that's for any prism if it's a prism the the surface surface area of the lateral part the part which is like on the sides of the bases <coughs> is found by finding the perimeter of the base multiplying it by the distance between the bases okay and you end up with your uh, surface area so you can just basically add 13 plus 20 plus the square root of 231 multiply that by 24 it's the same as doing 13 times 24 plus root to the 21 root 231 times 24 plus 20 times 24 it's the same thing it's just one step it makes it easier so this is going to be our answer so this is our surface area so we're going to multiply these together so we have 13 times root 231 we're going to have plus you're going to have in brackets root root two thirty uh, sorry twenty four times twenty four times in brackets we have thirteen plus twenty plus the square root of two thirty one and that will give us an answer which is one thousand three hundred fifty four point three five one one thousand three hundred fifty four point three five one which we can round to 3SF as 1,350 centimeters squared. It doesn't tell us what to round to, so we do 3SF unless otherwise specified. Then it says find the volume of the prism. 
Now the volume of the prism is the cross-sectional area times the height. And the height means how deep it is. So it's basically the area of one of these triangles. Okay. Um, times 24. So it's a half. So half times the base, which is uh, root 231. Times the height, which is 24. Multiple, uh, not, sorry, height's not 24. Times the height, which is 13. Okay, half times the base times the height. That's the area of the cross section. Okay, and then we have to multiply by, by how, how deep it is, which is 24. That's going to give you your answer for the volume. So we have a half times root 231 multiplied by 13 multiplied by 24. Don't forget to press the space after the after this one so that it doesn't include the rest in the square root. It takes it out of the square root. That gives you your answer, which is 2,370.994. goes on. So to 3SF, this is 2,370 centimeters cubed. So that's the volume of the prism. And part E says, calculate the angle AF makes with the base BCDFE. Okay, so we need to find the angle between AF, this line, and the base. So it's like the angle between this line and the shadow it would form along the base. Okay, so let's change this color a bit. So there will be a shadow if you shone a light from above onto the line AF with the base underneath it. There would be a shadow form going from B to F like this. That's the shadow of this line on this, this the base BF. All right. So the angle between this line and its shadow, that's the angle we're looking for. So we need to find what this angle is here, this angle theta. Now, we know that this angle theta is part of this big triangle ABF. It's like a big triangle ABF, um, which has 13 as its, like its height. So you have a triangle here, ABF. Let me just uh, change the color again. So you have a triangle that looks like this, triangle ABF. Okay, we're looking for this angle, theta. We know from this triangle, so that's, that's A, B, and F. We know that AB, we know its height is 13. So that's 13 there. Okay, now what's going to help us now is to find what BF is. If we find what BF is, we can find this angle. Okay, so we need to find what this length BF is. Now, BF is part of this rectangle, which is the base. If we're looking from at this from above, we would see like a the base looking like this. From above, you have C, you have F, you have E, and you have B. It will look like this, and between B and F will, will be this line. So we see BC is root 231. And CF is 24. Okay, so it's a right angle triangle because it's a rectangle. So we can see that BF, we can use this triangle to find it. Okay, so if we consider this triangle, okay, we're trying to find BF. So BCF is the triangle we're looking at now. We're trying to find what this is. Okay, we know BC is this length here, root 231, and we know CF is 24. So here we have 24, and here we have the square root of 231. So I can say that BF, using Pythagoras, is equal to the square root of root 231, which is, if you square it, gives you 231, plus 24 squared. Okay, so that's going to give me what BF is. So BF is going to be equal to the square root of 231, plus 24 squared. I don't have to square the 231 because it was the square root of 231. When you squared it, you get 231. So that gives us the square root of 807. So BF is equal to the square root of 807, which means this is the square length root of 807. So therefore, I can say that my angle 
I can say the tangent of my angle is equal to the opposite, which is 13, of the adjacent, which is the square root of 807. So therefore, my angle is equal to, so we do inverse tan of 13 over my last answer, which was at root 807. And that gives me my angle as 24.5898. 24.5898. Which we round to one decimal place that's 24.6 degrees. And that completes this question, okay, which is question number nine from this May, June 2021, paper four, variant one from Cambridge IGCSE. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from the topic of uh, mensuration areas and volumes and so on can be found in the playlist over here uh, you can find also 3d trigonometry questions in this playlist um, thank you for watching and see you soon